Hi, and welcome back. With the Chinese New Year holding its own massive celebrations, it was about time that the Persian New Year had its own taste of fame. Rosalie Spear has the story. With the first day of spring comes the beginning of a new year for Persians. Nowruz, or New Day, was celebrated at UNLV for the first time. It was awesome for the first time. Seeing a live band and Persian music being played at UNLV was very fun and interesting. It was really exciting, something new, and I liked the dance, the singing. This is very uh, nice to be here, to support each other, and to make something different. Besides serving Middle Eastern foods like baklava and dolma, there was live music, singing and dancing that fused together American and Persian culture. It wasn't really the typical Persian New Year celebration. We live in this country, so it's good to blend the cultures. I want to involve everybody. Persian includes Iran, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan, and American includes everybody, me and you. I thought the event was fantastic. There was a lot of different cultural things I didn't know about the Persian culture, and it was a good time to learn and to experience something different. I had a great time. It's something that I'd do again. Most guests said that their favorite moment of the celebration was when everyone rushed the stage to dance. It wasn't in our program, actually, and it just was a surprise. They asked me, and I just played that. My favorite moment was the last, uh, the last song, I guess, where kind of an impromptu dance with the entire audience. That was fun. When they did that, and when I was like, yeah, come up the stage and dance, I was like, yeah, they can dance here. So it was, like, really awesome. I loved it. It's going to happen again. Divan Begi hopes to hold a Persian New Year celebration next year. She plans on continuing to donate the proceeds to Shade Tree or Catholic Charities. For Front Row Center, I'm Rosalie Spear.